As we've reported in the past, experts are trying to make the case that spending too much time on Facebook can lead to depression, and a new study tries to determine if that's really true. NBC 15's Carlene Wild spoke with a researcher from the UW and brings us what they found out. Does spending too much time on Facebook cause depression? There have been ongoing concerns about this for years. We're at UW Health today talking with pediatrician Dr. Megan Moreno, who has just completed, along with the help of some of her students, a follow-up study to a report that came out years ago on this. Dr. Moreno, first of all, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Talk about the initial study and, and the reaction that society has had to that. Well, around 2010, the American Academy of Pediatrics came out with a social media report, and the report was really designed to help pediatricians and parents think about the different risks and benefits of social media. Within that report, they described what they felt was a new emerging illness or phenomenon called Facebook depression. And it was controversial because there really weren't any studies or research to back it up. So we got interested in this topic about how could we help clarify what that relationship might be. And your findings are what? This is a study that you completed fairly recently. Yes, it was. It was a study led by Lauren Jelinczyk, who was a public health student at the time, and she was really interested in if we could really accurately capture Facebook use. So we used a real-time method where we captured people's internet use throughout the course of a day and their Facebook use, and then we did depression screenings to see whether the time spent on Facebook was associated with reporting depression symptoms, and we found no relationship. So what should be the takeaway? Are, are there still ongoing concerns about you know there being some issues too much time on something like Facebook might cause? It's a great point. I think our study provides evidence that Facebook isn't in and of itself something that can cause depression based on the time spent on it. But there's many other issues at play as parents well know. It's not just about how much time you use, it's what you're doing on Facebook. Are you interacting with friends? Are you getting social support? Or are you engaging in things like cyberbullying? It has a lot to do with who that child is and what they're doing as well as how much time they're, they're online. Best piece of advice you would have for parents to, to help make sure that their children are using a medium like Facebook in a way that, that won't cause them uh, emotional harm? That's a great question. I think parents sometimes are a little nervous about the idea of Facebook because it's so new to them, but we also know that parents are experts in their children and they're experts in things like safety. So I think parents can really rely on the skills that they have to determine if their child isn't acting right, if they don't seem like they're very happy, and being able to ask questions about what's going on in their life and how are they doing. Okay, but otherwise the concern about it actually creating or causing depression, not something parents necessarily need to be concerned about. I think we can be more reassuring on that based on what we found in this study. All right, Dr. Moreno, great, great uh, insight. Thank you so much. Thank you. And for more on that Facebook depression study done by the UW, we have a link on our web channel. All you have to do is head to NBC15.com and click on news links.